Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stalwart Bucharest and the start of Season 4, our first in the first division. We're in the top division of Romania at last. After three seasons, we've achieved our second promotion. Uh, we did it last episode, um, winning the title, and uh, we've found ourselves now in the first division. Now we're going to try and stay here, which I think is going to be a tough task. We are expected to finish rock bottom and get relegated straight away. We're going to do our very best to stay up. The board just want us to fight against relegation. That's what the players are expecting. I really don't want to get relegated. I don't want to be back down in Division 2. So we're going to do our very best just to stay up this season and see how things go. And today we've got our first game of the season against Astra Georgiou. Uh, we'll play that one. We'll go through um, a couple of transfers that have been made and some departures. So yeah, a few bits to get through today. If you are enjoying this series, then do drop a like and leave comments on the videos because they are the best way to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We're just two away from 900 as we're recording this. So, you know, not far away from that. And then we can make that big stretch towards 1,000. So go back to last time, uh, we won three of our four remaining games uh, we lost against voluntary which meant we had to wait a little while to uh, confirm the championship but we won three games that confirmed the title for us as you can see winning the league by seven points in the end a nice clean finish uh, Viterol and Kjajna made it into the playoffs but lost their respective ties Quarry over to Denaria Dinamo 2 and Fakshani relegated, along with Otsilo Galazzi, who finished 11th in the overall table, but had such a poor relegation group that they got themselves relegated. So we're in the top flight, and this is the task that we have in front of us. We're expected to finish bottom. We are 600 to 1 to win the league. And the next highest is Polytechnic Yashi. We're 350 to 1. We are rank outsiders here and expected to go straight back down. We're going to try and prove them wrong. And Rapid and Universitatia Cluj were relegated from the first division as well the rules are different in this division we don't have to worry about playing 18 year olds anymore so we have to have at least six players in a squad trained by a club in Romania uh, at least two under 21 Romanian players in the starting 11 and then at least one in the playing 11 so we have to start with two but we can take one of them off during the match so that's not too bad um, under 21 players for Romania we don't have to register uh, which is nice as well. So the rules are a little bit more simplified. As 30 matches, so we face every team twice, and then we go into, again, the Champions Playoff. Well, we'll have another 10 games. So we're going to have 40 matches to play this season, which is why we're starting all the way back in July. We haven't had a lot of time, really, for a pre-season. We've got a few matches in, but yeah, it's not particularly long. I don't know how long the transfer window is. Hopefully there's still time for it because I've only made two signings. Uh, the transfer window goes all the way to September, so we've still got plenty of time to make transfers, but I say we're going to be like probably a quarter of the way or a third of the way through the season when it comes to that time. So you've still got time to make transfers, but I mean, the season's already starting. And speaking of transfers, let's go through the players that were released. And there's quite a few, and there's some big names in here as well. So we'll start with Daniel Vajrariu, who uh, is left back, 33 years old, has left us only... Uh, played one match last season and he joined us in season two for about seven thousand pounds had a good first season with five goals i think some of those were penalties but then didn't really feature because a prayer was just a mainstay at left back our other left back adrian Ilya, has also left the club he signed a deal with Unirea alba julia uh, he's been with us since the start um wasn't as good as a uh, vidrariu and again only played three games last uh, season not even any starts so he left as well. Wallace is a departure that I'm not particularly happy with. Um, I was trying to get a new deal sorted for him. But at 33 years old, he wanted a three-year contract, which meant he would have been at the club until age 36. And I didn't really want to give him three years, and he was not budging. I tried reducing it to two, and he wasn't he wasn't accepting it. So uh, he's gone. He hasn't signed a new contract, um, which means that we are going to need um, a centre-back. And he was our captain as well. So I feel a little bit annoyed that this uh, has happened. But I say he wouldn't sign a new deal that wasn't less than three years. And I don't really want him here for, for another three years. He's not he he's good, but he's not that good. He, I mean, he was amazing. He was a brilliant centre-back. But the ability, just I don't know if it was there anymore. We could bring him back in. I don't know if he'll want to sign for us. Um, no, he just wants a staff role now. That's not really what we want. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure that letting him go is the right idea. 
but I didn't want to put him on a three-year deal. Florin Rosdan, the right winger, has also left us. He's still a free agent. Uh, had a decent first season for us, five goals and five assists. Uh, and then played um, in our second season, didn't do as well, uh, and then didn't feature at all in season three. Tried to let him go on a transfer, but no one came in for him. Uh, Christian Raichu, our electric midfielder, has left the club. Uh, got three goals in his first season, uh, and then did feature a bit in season two, uh, and then went on loan to Gloria Bistritza for season three, where he didn't really do too well. Uh, he's joined by uh, Konstantin Kostake, who's also left the club. Um, yeah, again, played here and there. Eight assists in season two. He did pretty well. Um, but then uh, 12 appearances from the bench uh, last season. Again, no need to really keep him around. So he's gone. And lastly, Stefan Bordianu, our goalkeeper, age 25, has also left. Um, played one game for us in um, the first season. Didn't do too well there. And then had a couple of loan spells. So again, a player that wasn't really expected to to play too much for us. So that's uh, all we the have departures. brought in a centre back to since you replaced Wallace and just um, fill that out a bit. It's uh, Antonio Manalake, who is Romanian. He's 23, can play at centre back or left back. I think he's going to mainly play in central defence and looks very solid. 11s across the board for those three sort of key key attributes there mentally he's very well rounded and physically as well um you know his pace isn't too bad he's fairly strong uh and we paid a little bit of money for him eighty six thousand pounds he was transfer listed by petrol employee sg uh for turning down a contract so we've got him in for eighty six thousand pounds looks like a very capable center back and i think we'll play alongside betzer he's a left-sided center back much like uh, brisanovic is our montenegrin center back so i think we're gonna uh go betzer and then either Manalaki or Brisanovic. Uh, and maybe get one more in just for a bit of cover. We do have Radu Sherban back from his loan spell though. So he could play. And the other signing we made is at left back to give us some cover for Apraya, who is back again for another season on loan. Uh, Robert Nessie is also remaining. He's 24 and he has come in from Viterol on a free transfer. Um, we agreed a contract before the season started. Uh, crossing at 10 is okay. I don't think he's going to get forward as much as a prayer but we'll see um but his long throws are good at 13 the marking and tackling are good at 12 and 13 mentally he's not too bad he's determined uh you know he's a, he's a good worker and physically again not too bad at all resolute personality that's all the signings we made so far there's still a long way to go in the transfer window i know the season's starting and it's starting very early but um yeah still time to make transfers i'm i'm not dissatisfied with the squad i think the starting 11 is very good uh of course i said we've got a prayer back for another season negoisku has joined us again on loan because he had a very good season last time uh six goals and six assists hopefully he can replicate that but other players that were with us have left uh roshu the center back is gone for Klenku, our left-sided uh winger has gone so yeah we haven't reloaned everybody but just a couple of players so there is going to be some room to maybe loan some more players in I'm not quite sure where we need to improve. I think we've got two goalkeepers that can play, but behind that we could do with maybe a good young keeper. Uh, right back, we need some backup behind Popov and some backup behind Popescu because we no longer have Maliele. He's left. And Pashonel, I'm trying to move on. I want to try and sell Pashonel. So um, that's it so far. Preseason was mostly good. We did lose, I think, one or two games. Um, but again, we didn't really have a lot of time to get fixtures in. So it was a tough preseason and a very short one at that. But we're going to play Astra Georgiou in today's game. We then have an eternal derby against Dynamo. And following that, we have our first match against the senior FCSB team. They're two big games. So what I'm going to do is this is going out on Sunday. I'm going to do a bonus video on Monday where we're going to play those two matches in a double live com because there are two derbies and I can't not play them for the first time in the league. We faced Dinamo in a cup game back in season two, which ended, I think, 5-1 or 4-1. But this is the first time we're going to face them in the league. So next episode, we're going to do a bonus video on Monday where we're going to face both Dinamo and FC Esby for the first time in the league. And that's going to be a double live com and a bonus video. That will be on Monday. But today, it's Astra Georgiou. I don't know how this is going to go. I think we're going to have a tough bout to stay up this season, but we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, Astra are favourites, but we're 2-1 to one to win, so it might be a close one. You never know what's going to happen. We might have to change our tactic a little bit, um, or we might not. It seems like the assistant is quite happy with how we're set up at the moment, so I'm not going to change it too much. Uh, in fact, I don't think we need to change it at all. Uh, Nezovic is a winger, isn't he? Yeah, wing attack. We'll have Ispas up top. 
hopefully we get another good season from Nezovic and Ispas. They got over 30 goals between them last year. Nezovic with 21. I think Ispas got 13. So hopefully they can do that again. Nagoyescu was good. We've got Maximovic and Toma in midfield. And Manilak is going to play alongside Betz at centre-back. Prayer and Popov will keep their places and Grayab will stay in goal. And the bench, we've got Pachanel. Neshu could come on for his debut. Stupar. Uh, Bajaziti, a player that I think I want to try and move on as well. He's on the transfer list. Uh, Brasanovic is on the bench. Vasilescu is on the bench. And Lucian Buzan is on the bench. And yeah, we're going to keep the tactic the same. I'm not going to change the tactic at all. So let's see if we can get off to a good start here. Astro are favourites to win. So if we just avoid defeat, I'll be happy. If we win, I'll be even happier. Let's just try not to lose. Although we are the underdogs. Um... Give the fans a good performance. Hopefully we're going to see a nice big crowd here for our first game in the first division. Um, but let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get a good result here. We've won all of our opening fixtures so far this series. Let's try and make it four in a row, shall we? Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not full up. We're probably at about half full. Still at so maybe 17, 18,000. But that's fine. You know, those derbies were definitely going to be sold out. So that's going to be exciting. Let's see how we do. Well, we have a throw in here with Popov. About midway through the first half... It's headed away, and it's going to fall to a Betzer to collect this. He's probably going to go all the way back to the keeper here. He is. Grayab. Toma. Popov to Maximovic. Backwards to Betzer. Keeping the possession well here, which is good. Isbas to Popescu. Toma. This is nice play here. We're keeping the ball well. And Nezovic is through on goal here, and it's 1-0. 23 minutes on the clock. It's the first goal of the season for Nezovic. Hopefully the first of many. And it's a lead against Astro Georgiou. And that's what we wanted. You know, fantastic goal. Uh, keeping the ball very well. I don't know how many passes there were in there. Probably about a dozen. There's a lot of passes. And then Popescu and Nezovic with the 1-2. And Nezovic with the finish past the keeper. And we take a lead in our first game in the first division. Free kick here not long after though for Georgiou. It's Druga with the header... Keeper was just off his line, but I think that's just just clipped the crossbar. And another free kick here for Georgiou. Here's Georga to Baletsa, whose uh, shot has hit the defence. Here's Baichu. Kripulia has a shot that's blocked, and we're defending well here. We've got a lot of men behind the ball, everyone behind the ball, except for Ispas, I think that is, up front. So we're doing well. Maybe we should be dropping the line a bit deeper. We'll have to wait and see. Here is Baichu to P2. Baiku gets it back. Pallade, I think the right back is in support. That's a cross. And it's Kripulia. And it's, oh, it's saved onto the bar, I think, by Grayab. We're going to go in a half time with a lead. But that was a nervy last few minutes um, of that first half. We went ahead and then Astra really tried to go for that equaliser. Uh, we're slightly edging it, I think. Pleased with the first half. Hopefully we can keep it going. And hopefully hold on to this three points. I'm going to drop the defensive line ever so slightly and I'm going to go for less pressing and we're going to regroup when we lose possession. We're going to do that. We're going to the second half and just see if we can hold on to this lead and get three points and for the fourth season in a row win our opening fixture. That would be good. But we've got a lot of work to do. Astra are going to be really going for it in the second half. Here's Nezovic. The second goal would really kill this off. Nezovic is still going here. And the tackle by Kanajija. I don't know how, if I probably said that wrong. I don't know. Here is Nezovic. And Pallade with a good tackle. But Apre is there in support. And it's going to be a cross. It's cleared. It's Toma to Popescu. And again, it's a tackle when it's a clearance. Um, oh, we might have a penalty here. VAR. It's our first time seeing VAR in this series because we're now in the first division. Referee is going over to the screen. This may be a penalty for us here to make it 2 0. The last penalty we had, Ispas put it wide. He's going to take this one, but if he continues to miss penalties, then he'll be taken off them. It's been given. Can Eastpass convert this? Yes, he can. It's 2-0. Hopefully, that will be game over, and hopefully, that will be three points with about 20 minutes left. A first goal of the season for Eastpass from the spot as well. He redeems himself after the miss against Voluntari at the end of the last season. And it looks like we might get three points here. Uh, I'm just going to make a couple of changes. Nagoyescu's had a quiet game, so we're going to bring on Buzan on the right-hand side. And I'm also going to take off Toma and bring on Vasilescu. Double change. Just to keep things a bit fresh and just make sure that we hold on to these points here. Astra, maybe unlucky not to score today, but 
at the moment we are two goals to the good and we've taken our chances and converted the penalty here's a panaro it's a cross and it's Badescu. it's headed over uh we're just going to drop back to defensive might be a bit early for that but we'll see and we'll go for a focus as well that hasn't helped so we've got five minutes to go Popescu is now going to come off uh i think we'll just get an extra man in defense shall we we'll bring on brisanovic i really wish there was a tighten up shout and there isn't any more that would have been perfect for this sort of scenario oh baiku at the far post grab makes the save we've been very competent today i've been really pleased with how we've done the ratings aren't really good but We've kept a clean sheet. I think those ratings look harsh. But Manalak has been good. Aprey has been good. It's been a great game. Header away there by Bukal. Here's Gjorga. Who's coming forward here. And goes for goal. And well, that was speculative. Nezovic has picked up a knock. That's not what we want for our top scorer. Um, are they really going to give handball for that? That looked like a perfectly good header. <laughs> what? I mean, it's in the 92nd minute. Surely anything's too late now. It's a penalty for Georgiou. <sighs> Who's taking this? It's Badescu. Come on, a prayer. It's in. It's a lifeline for Astra. It might be too late, though. But there's still two minutes left. Maybe there is time. And we've got some, a lot of tired legs. Nezovic is injured as well. I don't want him to go down to 10 men, but he's not really going to help, is he? Can we hold on? It looks like we can. We played 95 minutes. There we go. It is three points to start off our League One campaign. A 2-1 win at home against Astra Georgiou. Um, only six shots to their 15. But as I say, apart from that penalty, they drew a blank. So um, I've got to be pleased with that. They were probably unlucky not to score the XG of 1.93. Just getting the one goal from the spot. Um, and we had a penalty as well with the uh, East Bass. So I think we made our luck there. Uh, but we managed to get three points, so I'm very pleased with that. But three points to start the season. For the fourth season in a row, we've won our opening fixture. Nezov oh dear, Nezovic. That's going to be about a month at least. That's going to be a month or two with a thigh injury. I think for us to stay up again, it's just the old adage of um, you know that magic 40 points. And if there's 40 games, as long as we're averaging more points than games were played... I'll be happy, and that's three points with one game played. So, so far, we are well ahead of that. I think I, I think as long as we have more points than games, I think we should be good enough to stay up. As I said, we're going to do a bonus video coming out on Monday where we're going to take on Dinamo and FCSB. We've got both derby games in the space of about two weeks. There is an international break in there, it seems. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of matches. Uh, we're going to do them both. Uh, and then after that, we'll do the usual like four or five games off camera. So I think Tuesday, you guys are going to get three days in a row of videos, you lucky people. After SEFSB, I think we'll go ahead to somewhere like Universitatia, uh, Krojova or Gazmitan, one of those two games again. Usually we do like four or five games off camera, but because we've got those two derby games in games two and three, I think we'll do those straight away. And after that, we've got Sepsi, the champions as well. So we've got three very tough games coming up. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, then do drop a like down below and leave comments. As I said, it's the best way to help and support the channel and let me know that you're enjoying the content. If you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. As I said, we're two subscribers away from 900 and we're, you know, we're on that road to 1K. So hopefully we'll get there soon. But we start season four with a win in the first division and hopefully we get some more along the way um, again i think we just need to try and stay up this season i don't want to be relegated so as long as we just stay in the division i'll be happy with that and then we can build on that for upcoming seasons but it's a good start three points on the board i'm happy and that's going to do it for the video thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye